Hello everybody, I am Felipe and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to send MIDI from your iPad into main state. So let's get started. So you may ask me, why should I plug my iPad into main stage? What's the purpose? Well, as you know, main stage is one of the most popular live performance softwares out there. I mean, who's not using main stage to play live? I mean, from churches to so many bands. And not only that, so many great people and great companies have put out amazing libraries. You have Loop Community, you have Multitrack, you have uh, Dead Worship Sound. They have a vast variety of pads and synths that allow you to achieve that sound that maybe you get in the studio into your live setting. So today, I wanna show you how you can send chords from the Dreamfoot app into main stage, which allows you to free your hands. Maybe you're a guitar player and all you want is to play your guitar and maybe switch some chords, but you don't wanna do it with the iPad sound. You wanna do it with something that you're more familiar with, like main stage. So for this example, besides your iPad and your computer, you're going to need the Dreamfoot app, the MIDI meter app, and the Worship Essential main stage library by that Worship Sound. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to plug our charging cable into the iPad, which is already connected to the computer. So let's go ahead and plug that. Next, we're going to open the MIDI meter app we're going to go to the main menu, select settings, and we're going to choose two options. App will run in background mode, and the background timer, we're going to slide it all the way to the right until it says never suspend timer. Next, we go back to the main menu, go to routing, and we're going to select as our source, Dreamfoot, and as our destination, the MIDI LE USB destination. Let's close the app, go into Dreamfoot, and let's go to Settings. And here, instead of selecting the MIDI LE destination, we're going to select under MIDI Out, Dreamfoot. If you were to select the MIDI LE destination, you're only going to get one note instead of a chord. So make sure you select Dreamfoot. Let's get out, and that's it. That's all we need to do in order to connect our iPad into our computer. Now, if I start playing chords, it will automatically start displaying once we set up main stage. Now that the iPad is set, let's just set up main stage so that it can properly receive the chords from Dreamfoot. Let's open the Worship Essential main stage library. Let's go to layout. Let's select the keyboard. Go to MIDI port and make sure that the option MIDI LE USB source is selected. Let's go back to edit and we're ready to go. Now that we have successfully connected our Dreamfoot app into main stage, let's just play through some of the sounds from the Worship Essentials pack. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because we'll be having a lot more videos like this one coming soon.